Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with MasterCode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about the init constructor. Uh, not to be confused with underscore, oops, I gotta be on my terminal. Underscore, underscore, int, int, underscore, underscore, dot py. This, if you see this, inside a directory that indicates to Python that that directory contains some sort of Python code. All right. Today we're going to talk about this underscore underscore I N I T underscore underscore. This is called a constructor in Python. It's very valuable to object oriented programming. Um, <clears throat> it can either be coded into the class or it can be inherited from another class. All right. Uh, Python calls this uh, every time an instance is created. If one does not, if init is not in there, then it will continue on. But if init's in there, it will run init. All right. So init's basically a method. Um, like I said, it's referred to as a constructor. Um, so we're going to take a look at a very basic sample uh, example of um, how init is used. And as we work through our tutorials in object-oriented programming, we'll see this quite often, okay? So don't worry if uh, this is very basic right now. You will see a more advanced um, uh, in it examples in the future. So let's get started. We're going to create a class. We're going to call it plane, all right? So what we're going to do is uh, classify some plane. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. So first things first, we're going to create a method uh, or a constructor but it's going to be the init method so define underscore underscore i n i t underscore underscore and then our first argument is going to be self because this is a method and method takes an instance of that class as an argument first all the time so let's go ahead and create another argument and we're going to call it company this will be the company that manufactures an airplane and then we'll do model, the model of that aircraft and how many seats it has. All right. So there we go. There's our method or our constructor, if you will. Next, we're going to say self.company is equal to company. And then we'll do self.model is equal to model. And then we'll say self.seats is equal to seats. Basically, what the init um method or constructor does it initializes the data for that instance all right so that's what we're doing here as you can see <clears throat> we're taking an instance and then we're saying all right for this instance we're gonna have a company and that's equal to company the argument uh we have a model that's equal to the argument model down here all right and we have seats these are all instances over here all right so let's go ahead and create one more um, method. We're going to say define wiki. All right, wiki's going to get and print us off what these, who makes these airplanes, what the model is, and how many seats it has. So we'll just go ahead and do print, and inside a string we'll say the, not this, the, and that would be our um, company, and then the next one will be our model has, and then how many seats and we'll close that string out we'll format this to have uh, self dot company as our first one self dot uh, model as our second one and self dot seats as our third and we'll close out our format close out our print hit return all right so <clears throat> there's our class and we have the init method or constructor um, and then we define uh, wiki as well and that will return something to us so let's go ahead and create the instance so we're say p is equal to plain all right and then we need to initialize our data that's why it's called it in it all right so we'll go ahead and say we got a Boeing all right and we'll have uh, 737 all right and we'll say so the first two takes uh strings we didn't indicate that but that's what i'm putting in and then uh, 140 seats i don't know if that's exact maybe it's 160 
I don't know. It depends on the 737 model. So uh, I'm not trying to be exact here, but if we hit return and then we say p dot wiki and we put in our parentheses hit return, it says Boeing 737 has 140 seats. Like I said, that's not uh, accurate information. So if you really want to know what Boeing 37 has, go ahead and look it up. Um, so let's just go through this real quick one more time so you guys understand what's going on. Uh, the init constructor uh, is or method is used to initialize data to that instance. So when we call the instance, we're passing in our data. All right, so we're saying the Boeing for company, 737 for model, and 140 seats. And we come down and then we call uh, our instance on the wiki method. And we're saying, hey, go ahead and print off uh, the company uh, self model has self seats and it returns to us to Boeing's 37 has 140 seats. So that's your introduction, introduction to the init method. And like I said, we'll be seeing this a lot more because this is used quite often in classes in object oriented programming. It's a, it plays a big part in it. So you'll see this uh, quite more and we'll look at uh, more uh, complicated uh, setups and stuff. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our videos. We'll see you in the next tutorial.